Hey there, Smarty fans, especially parents and educators. We've got something special for you, and it's not just another exciting episode of Who Smarted. It's a chance for you to help shape the future of our show. We're on a mission to make Who Smarted even better for both our brilliant young listeners and their amazing parents and educators. That's why we're inviting you to participate in our exclusive first ever Who Smarted survey to let us know what's working and where we can improve. So, parents and educators, grab a cup of your favorite beverage, cozy up, and take a few minutes to fill out our survey. Head over to whosmarted.com and click survey. Together, let's make Who Smarted the best it can be. Thanks for being an awesome part of our smarting community. And remember, the survey is at whosmarted.com. Just click survey. Psst. Hey there, smarty pants. Welcome to an encore or repeat presentation of the immune system. Don't worry, we're still making new episodes of Who Smarted, but every so often we like to share an older episode that we know you'll love. So enjoy your visit to the inside of your body as you learn about your immune system. Good evening, welcome to the gut. The gut. The hottest dance party in the entire body. Please have your IDs out. Oh my God, it's my birthday. My friends and I are so excited to check out the gut. Party! Whoa. Party! Happy birthday. You're good to go. Have fun, cheese sticks. Hey! Hello, Vito. Busy night. Hey, Miss Yogurt. Yeah, it's pretty packed in there. But come on in. A cultured lady like yourself is always welcome in the gut. You are such a charmer. Toodaloo. Hey, girl! Hey! Seven-day-old shrimp. You're looking a little rough around the edges. You sure you're gonna be okay in there? Yeah, man, I feel good. Come on, let me in. What's the worst that can happen? Fine, I'll let you through. But don't you make me regret it. Who, me? Never. <laughs> okay, peas and carrots. Let's see those IDs. Uh, hey, Vito, we got a problem inside. That, uh, seven-day-old shrimp starting fights and breaking stuff. Ah. I knew I shouldn't have let him in. All right, you know what we gotta do. Evacuate everyone. Everyone? Everybody. Mom. Yes, honey, what is it? My tummy hurts. Oh, what happened? Did you eat something bad? Uh, just a shrimp I found in my backpack from last week. I think I'm gonna be sick. <coughs> oh no, uh, let's get to the bathroom now. <coughs> I'm not gonna make it. No, you can make it, run, run. <coughs> All right, everybody out. And you. Hey, what did I do? I warned you, pal. You're out of here. <laughs> ah. <laughs> that was so gross. Oh, I know, sweetie. Maybe next time don't eat any backpack shrimp, okay? Puke. Barf. Vomit. Throw up. Whatever you call it, we've all eaten something that didn't agree with us and you know what happens next. Uh, Feel better, kid. As I'm sure all of you listening know, when you're feeling sick, your body does all kinds of unpleasant stuff. Like cough, <coughs> sneeze, <coughs> and like our friend here, you might even hurl, and don't you dare play that sound effect. <coughs> but believe it or not, it's not just a virus or the rotten cheese you ate that's causing those nasty symptoms. It's your immune system. What is your immune system? I don't know. And if your immune system is on your side, then why on earth would it make you do gross stuff like barf up your lunch? Ugh, I think I'm gonna be sick. And how does your immune system know what's okay to let inside your body and what needs the old heave-ho? Uh, don't say heave. It's time for another big whiff of science on... Who smarted? Who smarted? Who smart? Is it you? Is it me? Is it science? Or history? Listen up! Everyone! We make smarting lots of fun! But who's smarted? Every time you play outside, eat a sandwich, or give your dog a kiss, your body comes in contact with trillions of germs. Many are harmless. Some are even good for you. What? But some can make you sick. And don't you play that sound effect. <coughs> it's your immune system's job to protect you from these outside threats. Think of your immune system as an internal army dedicated to keeping you healthy. 
And just like a medieval castle, your immune system has many lines of defense. What do you think is your first line of defense against germs? Is it A, your mom? I love you, mommy. B, your mouth? Ah. Uh... Or C, your skin? Remember to moisturize. Well, if your first line of defense is like your body's armor, it has to cover the whole outside of your body. So if you said skin, you're right. Of course, your mom is also right there helping too. No more shrimp for lunch. But how is your skin like armor? Don't you get cuts and scrapes all the time? Ow! Well, it turns out your skin is built like a brick wall. It's airtight to keep water in, but also really strong to keep bad germs out. Do not pass go. Which is why when you do get a cut or a scrape, it's important to clean the wound to prevent germs and infections from getting in. But otherwise, your skin stands tough against germs. In fact, your skin works so hard to protect you that skin cells are constantly dying off and being replaced. We salute you. And do you know what happens to all those dead skin cells? I don't know. Have you ever noticed dust in your house, either on objects or floating in the air like in a sunbeam? Well, it's estimated that up to half of the dust in your house is actually dead skin cells. <laughs> and it's not just inside your house. Dead skin makes up about a billion tons of dust in the Earth's atmosphere. For tomorrow's weather forecast, we're looking at sunny skies with a 100% chance of dead skin cells? Ew. Oh, I'm gonna be sick. Oh. Nah, don't worry. It may sound gross, but we should be thankful to our skin cells for keeping us safe. But your skin isn't the only soldier on the front lines against harmful germs. Huh? Other barriers you've evolved to protect you are your hair and your eyelashes, which act like little fly swatters for germs. But your body's armor isn't perfect, and sometimes bad germs sneak by your first line of defense and start to spread. And that's when your immune system really gets to work. To find out how, let's take a trip deep inside your body. All right, you two immune cells, I need you to keep your eyes peeled. Uh, got it, Sarge. Hey, you see anything out there? Nope, we're fine. Everything looks clear. All over your body, microscopic soldiers called immune cells are on patrol 24-7, keeping an eye out for anything that doesn't belong. Hey, what's that? Incoming! Relax, it's just a toenail. Oh, yeah, I knew that. JK, huh? Every organism that enters your body has a unique molecule on its surface called an antigen. Ooh. It's like a fingerprint. Immune cells are trained to tell the difference between harmless antigens, like food, yum, 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 yum. and dangerous antigens, like flu bugs. <sighs> and when they see something dangerous, things get real. Wait, do you hear something? Hostile bacteria. They're multiplying. What do we do? There's too many of them. Quick, call for backup. If a bad guy gets through the gates and starts to spread, immune cells sound the alarm. Reinforcements come streaming to the site of infection to meet the intruders with an all-out assault. Immune cells assemble! Charge! Some immune cells gobble up the bacteria. I got you now, bacteria! Nom, 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 nom! Others shoot chemical missiles called antibodies that stop them in their tracks. While other immune cells attach directly to the germs or bacteria, injecting them with toxins until they explode. Ah! As this battle rages, you experience what you know as being sick. I don't feel well. I think we can all agree, being sick stinks. You're stuck in bed, no play dates, feeling awful. Oh. But here's the thing, smarty pants. All of the things that happen to you when you're sick are actually designed to help your immune system make you feel better. To find out how it works, stick around. Hey, Smarties, trusty narrator here. I had a unique challenge recently. I needed to learn German for a friend's wedding in just a few weeks. That's when I found Babbel. Thanks to Babbel, I'm well on my way to holding my own in German conversations and just in time for the wedding. Babbel makes learning a new language engaging and practical. It's not just about words, it's about real conversations that you can actually use. And here's a special deal for our listeners. Right now, get 55% off your Babbel subscription, but only for our listeners at babbel.com smarted. 
Get 55% off at babbel.com slash smarted. It's spelled B-A-B-B-E-L dot com slash smarted. Rules and restrictions may apply. Join me on this language learning journey with Babbel. Auf Wiedersehen, and let's embrace new conversations together. Hello, smarty listeners. Trusty here, home after a long day of smarting, and boy, am I hungry. The question is, what to cook? Do I make crispy chicken parmesan? Or yummy salsa verde enchiladas? Or mouth-watering chicken sausage spaghetti bolognese? Now, I know what you're thinking. Trusty, how can you possibly cook such amazing, delicious, restaurant-worthy meals after a long day? It's easy. Just say hello to HelloFresh. HelloFresh is America's number one meal kit, and it is literally the best thing ever. Each week, I choose from over 45 scrumptious chef-crafted recipes online. Then, when my box arrives, I have everything I need for easy-to-make, hearty, healthy, delicious meals that I just know you and your family will love. Oh, and if that wasn't enough, HelloFresh wants to give you free breakfast for life. Just go to HelloFresh.com slash SmartedFree and use code SmartedFree for free breakfast for life. One breakfast item per box while subscription is active. That's free breakfast for life at HelloFresh.com slash SmartedFree with code SmartedFree. Okay, I want you to think about some of the things that happen to you when you have a cold. Hmm. List as many as you can. Ready? Go. Interesting. I heard cough, sneeze, sore throat, fever, I'm burning up, chills, <laughs> body aches, ow, runny nose, <laughs> diarrhea, Ooh. throwing up, <clears throat> the desire to watch cartoons. Well, except for watching cartoons, all of those responses are a direct result of your immune system working to protect you. Charge! For example, when you have a stomach bug, You'll either throw up or get diarrhea. Ooh. I know. I know. It's gross to be spewing nasty fluids. Don't you dare play that sound effect. Uh-oh. But both of those are ways your immune system ejects germs from your body. Ah. Because within those nasty fluids are the bugs that made you sick. Uh-oh. What about a fever? A fever is when your body temperature rises. <laughs> Obviously, this is no picnic for you with chills and body aches. But it's even less fun for germs. When your body heats up, it actually stuns harmful bacteria and makes them move slowly. Buying your immune system more time to knock them out. And what do you do most when you're sick? Play soccer? Go! Walk the dog? Or sleep? Chances are, you just want to sleep. And that's no coincidence. Sleep gives your whole body a rest. (sighs) Laying in your bed sleeping, your body doesn't have to worry about thinking or moving or eating. Yum, 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 yum. And it can devote all of its energy to your immune system to kick your infection's butt. (laughs) So, the best way to recover from illness is to rest up and drink lots of fluids. (sighs) And why fluids? Because fluids help your immune system flush out toxins. And before you know it, your body's army will have you back on your feet. That's the last of them. We're clear. Yay, we did it. But wait, wait. I haven't even told you the coolest thing your immune system can do. Huh? Your immune system isn't just a master at destroying bad germs. It also has a super memory. Once your body fights off a bad bacteria or virus, chances are you'll never get sick from that exact strain again. Whoa. If the same bad guy tries to get in again, your immune system will immediately recognize it and turn it away before it has a chance to do any damage. All right, folks, IDs, please. The gun. All right, folks, let's see those IDs. Hey, sounds like a fun party in there. Gonna let me in? (laughs) Oh, no, you don't, old shrimp. You're not getting in this time. Why? What did I do? What did I do? (laughs) You just had to play that sound effect, didn't you? A big double shout out to our awesome fans, Caden and Kaylee in Westminster, Maryland. We're so glad you love listening to Who Smarted. Today's episode, Immune System, was written by Dan Bromfield and voiced by Dan Bromfield, Gia Davis, Adam Tex Davis, Jason Williams, Chris Van Cleef, 
Kim Davis, Sidney Blumenfeld, April Cantor, featuring Les Nessman as the weatherman, and yours truly, Jerry Colbert. Technical direction and sound design by Josh Hahn. Who Smarted was recorded and mixed at the Relic Room Studio. Theme song by Brian Suarez. Lyrics written and performed by Adam Tex Davis. Who Smarted was created and produced by Adam Tex Davis and Jerry Colbert. This has been an Atomic Entertainment production. But who smarted? Hey there, Smarty fans, especially parents and educators. We've got something special for you. And it's not just another exciting episode of Who Smarted. It's a chance for you to help shape the future of our show. We're on a mission to make Who Smarted even better for both our brilliant young listeners and their amazing parents and educators. That's why we're inviting you to participate in our exclusive first ever Who Smarted survey to let us know what's working and where we can improve. So, parents and educators, grab a cup of your favorite beverage, cozy up, and take a few minutes to fill out our survey. Head over to whosmarted.com and click Survey. Together, let's make Who Smarted the best it can be. Thanks for being an awesome part of our smarting community. And remember, the survey is at whosmarted.com. Just click Survey.